Winter Farmer's Market is one of those gems you find in communities all over Maine. A place to meet up for sweet treats, hot drinks, and vendors selling just what your family needs. On Sunday, November 22nd, BCTV stopped by the first farmer's market of the season. We found dedicated vendors selling beautiful vegetables, meats, and handcrafted items. Between customers, BCTV asked the vendors how COVID has impacted their farm or business. Here is what we found. I actually bake out of my home now in Old Orchard. Um, I used to bake out of a commercial kitchen in Portland. Um, Did COVID change all that? Um, yes and no. I was looking to, um, the rent was, um, the overhead was just got to be too much. Um, so uh, I was able to um, get my condo um, kitchen um, licensed by How the nice. state. Yeah. And what do you make here, Renee? I make uh, ham pies um, entirely from scratch. <laughs> um, they follow the seasons. So like right now, I've got some Thanksgiving flavors. I've got like maple pumpkin, ginger apple cranberry, pecan with Maine bourbon. Um, but I also do some traditional favorites like apple and Maine blueberry. Then I also do um, some sidekicks like lemon. Um, that's a very popular one. I also do uh, seasonal ones like a spice pear or a spice plum. That's what I have right now. Um, some fun ones like caramel apple. I also have done in the past like a peanut butter and conquer grape jam. Um, it's you know, and great we had a really good um, bumper crop for grapes. Actually, my folks did. I picked their grape patch and made some grape um, grape jelly and did the PB and J um, flavor. Uh -huh. So that was fun. It's kind of like the, oh, the kid in all of us, you know. And, <laughs> and uh, that was my first flavor to sell. I did that at my last Scarborough Farmers Market, and that's where I was um, over the summer and uh, early fall. Um, are these going for Thanksgiving? Are people buying them up as a side dish or a dessert dish? Yeah, um, and they're, they're buying the flights um, and they're buying like for themselves or for like their parents and like one customer came by and said I'm just gonna like put these at my mom's door, you know, and then she'll have, you know, a, you know, a Thanksgiving uh, dessert flight of hand pies. What's a flight? Uh, a flight, I sell uh, flights of three. Um, I, I like in individually priced like the by the each and then uh if people want to buy like three they get like a little um they get kind of a deal um and then also because i have so many flavors that um people were i was unintentionally overwhelming customers um with the choice and then when they have the fly they're like oh i can pick three now and yeah you know get a little bit of a better price point there i wouldn't mind finding so. a flight at my door that would be fantastic. yeah um, this, that was inspired by the breweries <laughs> Um, may I ask you some questions about COVID? I'm just wondering, has it affected your business? Um, the COVID time was when I was actually, um, I was, was no longer baking in my commercial, in the commercial kitchen and looking to get my home kitchen certified. And I was using that time to do that. And I was, I also uh, work a quote unquote real job at a hospital too. So that's, um, so when I was kind of quote unquote close just to figure out where I was going to be landing um, and then by the time uh, the farmers markets came back in the summer I was ready in time for that and I was able to start again at the Scarborough market. Moving on with COVID I'm just wondering if you've, you said you've made changes to your business by moving to your house. Have you made any other changes? Um, and just by the way, um, just the way we do the markets in general, you yeah. know, um, outdoors and you know, distancing and everything. Um, I've always had prepackaged hand pies, so that's, you know, and so I find that's already, you know, worked out for, you know, COVID or pre-COVID. So I kind of already had that plan in place. Um, so that's worked out well. Uh, I've always had the, like the contactless you know, payment, like if people want to do square. Um, you know, and some people still feel safe doing cash, but like I have an extra box if people just want to, want to put cash there and don't want any contact, you know, with like cash I might have touched. So, you know, Will you just, be outside all winter at these markets? Um, as long as they want to stay outside, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to do a s'mores flavor so people can think of campfires. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you been able to take advantage of any of the relief funds for COVID or anything else being offered? 
Um, I haven't. Um, luckily, um, biggest change for me in terms of like relief has just been able to not pay that big rent, you know, that overhead. Um, that's been a huge help, just being able to just bring my business to my home. Yeah, thank you, Renee. Just one more question. Is there anything that if you could snap your fingers to, to survive better this COVID season or to thrive going forward, is there anything that you'd like to see? Um, just the vaccine, you know, yeah. um, it's, kind of, it's kind of the light at the end of the tunnel. And once we're all vaccinated, I think that'll kind of, you know, get us back to whatever that new normal is going to look like and uh, people will feel safe. I feel very fortunate that things can be done like markets um, in a safe way and that it doesn't have to be like yes or no, it can't, you know, it can be done, it can't be done. Like, yes, it can be done and we can do so safely. Um, so just being able to um, work with the changes um, that have come with, you know, with, with COVID. <laughs> Well, thank you, Renee, and good luck thank with you. your business. It thank you fantastic. very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, thanks for talking with me today. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, if everyone wants to come and round out the holidays, it's going to be that magic time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so um, feel free to come by with your recipes or your food list or whatever and pick up some great ingredients and some uh, prepared items as well for your table.